Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I will be reviewing the Num Noms. I was browsing around Walmart looking for something to review, and I was like, what in the world are these? We're gonna find out today. It says that there's this is series one, so I'm guessing there's other series. Oh, I thought it was food. It says don't eat me. Well, I'm disappointed with that now. I was hungry too. <laughs> any excuse to eat I promise you all right let's see what it is collectible cereal add water for magic milk surprise oh man adult supervision is required I don't think I can read oh wait I am adult never mind <laughs> add the child like mentality sorry all right let's see how this works oh sure now you open easily something about having a wonderful smell to it so I had to sniff them. These packages do not. Let's see what do we got. So we got the scented magic milk spoons. You have banana milk, wildberry milk, strawberry milk, vanilla milk, chocolate milk, and a bunch of others. So we're gonna pour in the cereals. Oh, well, that's it. I'm just gonna go to use these. We're going to pour all the cereal in. These are cute. Let's see what this one is. This is, I have no idea. It doesn't give me any information on it. So these are, I guess they're random because it doesn't give a, oh, they stink. I guess I need to add the milk. And I'll take a picture before I put in the milk so that way you can get a close-up and see what they're like, because I'm pretty sure parents out there are curious about what these are and don't want to waste their money, so. I don't mind doing it! <laughs> Any reason to be a big kid, honestly. I'm going to go ahead and open these up, and then I'll be right back. Alright, so I left the last one, which is the spoon and a surprise character. Aren't these cute? Kind of reminds me of a little Captain Crunch. Got your checks, you got your mini wheats all mixed up into here. We're gonna open up the spoon. I need to stop singing when I'm talking because it comes back and bites me. <laughs> so we got our spoon, which is, which one is this one? It doesn't tell me which flavor this one is. Also, fair warning, none of this is edible. I thought it was. But unfortunately, none of this is edible. It looks like I got strawberry milk. Or no, yeah. So I got strawberry milk. Nope, can't smell nothing. We're gonna open this up, and I'm gonna have y'all guys come a little bit closer and hover over so we can all see the magic happen at once. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and pour water in here. So it doesn't specify how much water, so I'm just going to pour it. Oh, it does give you a little estimation. These actually kind of remind me of the toys that I, or not the toy, but the candy review that I did with the, um, that I, with the products that I got from Daiso. Um, that's kind of what it reminds me of a little bit. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. All right, guys, so I'm going to need come a little bit closer. So we're going to mix it in. Hopefully this dissolves quick. Ew, it's starting to look all milky now. There's supposed to be a small character inside too, so we're gonna try. Oops. Why am I so messy? So this is the milk. Oh, there it goes. Where's my special character? All right, I'm gonna dig out my special character and we're gonna get back to our normal viewing headshots. I think this is our special guy. So I don't remember seeing him. Isn't he cute? So that's pretty much it. I'm pretty sure this is going to change a little bit darker. I'm going to let it dissolve more and then I'll take a picture so that way you guys can see it. So another one of my mistakes while reviewing is always read the instructions fully and the important information. 
I used very cold water and it's suggesting using very warm water. So I think that's the reason why I'm not getting the fizz and everything like that. So obviously it's not a dud completely because I didn't follow the instructions. And it says for best results, water should be 98.6 degrees. And mine is straight from the fridge. <laughs> now if it was, then I'd be able to worry. And I think these are just little collectibles because there's 140 little beast little pieces to collect. I'm pretty sure there are kids everywhere collecting these. Um, I'm pretty sure parents are like, what are these before even purchasing? You know, what's worth it? Like I said, none of this is edible or anything like that. It's just little collectibles, which I think are kind of cute. So we've got that one done and out of the way. If I don't throw this one first, that might help. We're going to check out the... Num Noms Dippers. Let's see what these look like. And this time I'm gonna make sure to read the instructions first. So I'll be right back. So I open up my little packages. Aren't these cute? Wait, this is base, right, this is base. It's like a little pink Oreo. That's what I'm gonna call it, I don't care what you say. And then I got Princess Fry. <laughs> it says that I'm supposed to have three characters, so I think I got gypped, and I definitely got a dip. This is supposed to be refrigerated for 15 minutes before you're supposed to play and dip your little toys in there. Hold on, what is his name? Oh, Fiona Frenchie, excuse me, is her name. And where, is, where are you at? Oh, this, yeah, this is Holly Hart. And apparently I'm supposed to get another one. But these are all the little characters that you're supposed to get. And once you dip your, this is what the, your dipping sauce is supposed to be refrigerated 15 minutes before you should play with it. And they change colors. So let's see. Oh, there's actually another character in the sauce. I guess maybe that's one of my third character that's in here. That would make sense then. Instead of having both all three of them in there because it says that there's mixing it in and there's a little dipper in the sauce. So I'm guessing that's what my third character is. But I don't want to make a bigger mess and open this up and see all that cushy cushiness. Which y'all want me to. Want me to do it? Alright, I'll be back in 15 minutes then. Alright, set it up for 10 or for 15 minutes. That went by pretty quick, don't you think? <laughs> Also, I want to correct I want to correct myself. This one is Jessica Jellyfield. And this one is Salty Princess. So these are the big dippers. And they have the ones I was looking at was actually the small dipper. Or the little dippers. So we're gonna see what this what? I know this is not user air. I know she Okay, there it goes. Ooh, I got sprinkles! Ew. This smells good. Oh yeah, I'm not supposed to eat it, sorry. Oh, this is cute. Let me see, what kind of jelly do I get? Out! Ooh, that smells good. I got, which one? I got sprinkles. Ooh, I got the sprinkle dipper, the birthday icing. That's one. And this one's actually a rare one. How interesting. The only one with sprinkles. All right, let me figure out what it does. What color does it change? Obviously, my dog wants some too. She smells it. We're gonna dip you in. I think there may be another. Ew. All you're supposed to do is just mix it. Dig for little dipper in sauce. So there is a little dipper. Oh, I feel him, I think. There he is. So there's my third guy. I didn't get chipped, y'all. Ooh, that sounded crappy, didn't it? <laughs> oh, I did get the little dipper. I did get Fiona. <laughs> you can't see her, but yeah, she's in there. I did get little baby Fiona. How cute. 
Oh, and this is an ultra rare one too. Ooh, I feel fancy. Okay, I'm trying to clean you up, Fiona. This looks like boogers. Ooh, is it just me? Does it look like a booger? Although, if you have a booger that long, maybe go to the doctor. I just want to play in the slime. <laughs> And if you're wanting to know how I knew it was rare or whatever, first of all, it's you get a collection of everything that there is. All the characters. These are the little dippers. These are the sauces. And on the back, you've got the little dippers. I'm sorry, the big dippers, which is where I got the Jessica Jellyfield. And, oh, is she rare? No, she's not rare. I don't know what that means. Let me show you. So she's not rare. What does the star mean? I guess she's a regular? I don't know. Oh, so this one is rare. Apparently. Where you at, Jessica? She got a star, so she is rare. And what about Salty Princess is, out, is common because she doesn't have a mark on it. But, come here, little guy. Fiona. And it gives you a little key right here of what's rare versus ultra rare or what's common. I'm surprised I got an ultra rare one. That's pretty cool. And again, for the cereals, you have all your cereals and different ones listed here. And then if you want to know about your spoon, what flavor and scent and everything like that. I didn't really smell anything because it's supposed to have a scented magic surprise. But I didn't smell anything on that one. My guess is because I didn't use the right temperature water. But with these suckers, before I even pulled them out of the package, I automatically smelled cotton candy. Which, I'm not sure if that's what it smelled. It's supposed to smell like, but it smells like cotton candy to me. And then this dipper, which was the birthday smells really good if you collect these let me know I would love to see all the other characters especially if you have a big collection of all the ones that you you know especially the rare ones I want to see them I think they're really cute I can really see them kids wanting to collect them oh okay so I just see glitter in the I don't see any fizz that's I think that's because of the temperature ipsies trial and error right guys Make sure that you wash these before you give them to the kids to play with. And, of course, these are not edible. They do smell really good, though. Um, they probably just taste like plastic. Just my assumption. <laughs> All right, guys. So, I'm wrapping up this video. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know which one your favorite characters are. Which, if you have any of the rare ones, let me know. I'd be happy to see them. And stay tuned and stay jazzy. Thanks, guys.